What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel. We finally have some updates on the update that's going to be coming in December. So we're going to go through all of that. Hope you guys like the video. Don't forget to subscribe as well. And let's get into it. All right, so the first bit of news we have is regarding co-op, right? They're going to be added to events. Currently at the moment, right, we do have events here, but they're all either, you know, against the AI or against online users. So it's just normal 1v1 PvP, right? The only thing we have in co-op at the moment is within friend match, right? Where you're able to have a 1v1 match or a co-op match room, right? This co-op match room, it's kind of, I mean, 10 years kind of out of date, really, with how you organize games and stuff like that. There's no drop in, drop out. There's no real matchmaking, random matchmaking or anything like that, right? So when we go over here to the actual eFootball website, the official Konami website, they talk about introducing a co-op PvP event. Now, the wording here is very very interesting or important, I would say, because they say that they're going to be adding co-op to events, and they also say that you can casually participate on your own or team up with friends to play against other teams. Now, what I what I read into that, and I will try and get like 100% confirmation on it, it's just a little bit early yet, um, and usually, you know, it'll be a day or two before I get that, but usually what this means when they actually say this, that you can casually participate, I'm reading that as it is, straight up, that you will literally be able to go in as an individual player. You know, it's great if you've loads of friends. If we're streaming or if you've got a lot of friend groups that play football, it's easy to get co-op games going, even six, you know, players, like 3v3, right? But if you don't have a lot of people, you know, a lot of people might play EFC, a lot of people might actually not play any football games, or it can be very difficult to organize with time zones and whatever, right? I reckon that this reading means that you can literally just drop in go into co-op and it'll match make you two teammates um, or else one teammate and then you will obviously play against another either 2v2 or a 3v3, especially if they're doing events. I don't think that it's going to be a case of you having to introduce two friends to the game to play those events. Now, I could be wrong. I hope I'm wrong because I definitely feel like they need matchmaking co-op. Um, that's a huge thing. It's a massive thing because co-op is really, really fun. It is really, really fun. Um, I think people that don't play co-op are kind of missing out. But I would say that there has to be something to play for, and this hopefully rectifies that with V3.2. Uh, now, the next one I want to talk about is renewing contracts with GP, as you see here, right? So in addition to the existing contract renewal of 60 days and 10 days contract renewal, right, which I'll show you here. So for anyone that's new to the game or anyone that's been playing the game for a short while, or even for those that don't really understand how the contract system works, okay? When you have a player... And when you sign a player, you have 365 days of that contract, right? So if you click on any player, the most recent player that you have, the more contract duration that he'll have left. So you can see here my Messi with 340 days left. Or you can see a player that we got from the very start of the game, uh, you know, when we first launched eFootball 2023. Any of these guys here, all the way, they're all out of contract. All these guys with X's around them. Now, the only way to actually get back a player into contract, right, is to go in and go to contract renewal, and then you're able to pick between 10-day contract and 60-day contract. You can give six day con six 10-day contracts uh, to equal four days or to equal 60 days, but these have become very, very slim uh, over the last couple of days. So if we proceed with that and we renew his contract, we will get a nine day contract back. It'll be 10 days, you know, uh, in total because of the time that we put it in, right? Now, with that, right, there is no option at the moment to renew the player any other way, but they're going to be adding that you renew the contract with GP. So for those of you guys that are sitting on a lot of GP, you'll be able to renew players a lot easier, right? I think this is a good thing. I think that was definitely something that needs to be rectified. Um, you know, you need to have an option of using GP and making it valuable. Now, they haven't mentioned anything about retraining players. So at the moment, with retraining players, uh, if you wanted to retrain a player's stats or you want to do his skill or his uh, player progression again, you have to actually pay for it after the 30th. So that is in two days' time. So for this, Romario... In two days' time, unless they announce anything or they change things or push it back again, this is going to mean that I'm going to have to, you know, spend 410000 to reset the player progression. At the moment, it's free. You can do it as many times as you want. It's free, right? You can auto-allocate, and I'll just show you again. So we've trained him up again. We can reset him again. It's free, 100% free until that date. So that's going to be another thing that they probably need to look at um, going forward. But we'll see. We'll see. Um, but it is nice that they had the contract situation sorted out because contracts are very hard to come by lately. Um, and it's all 10-day contracts within the match pass. And even at that, 
what's going to happen is you're going to be earning contracts slower than your players are going to be going out of contract, right? So that's obviously going to be an issue. Now, the last one I want to talk about, lads, is going to be a change to the number of unskippable goal celebrations, right? So I, I genuinely don't know how many times that I have actually scored an absolute banger and because I'm trying to record content, it's nice to get like uh, even one different angle of it so that you can kind of break down the clip or you can showcase the clip and people just skip it, you know? I mean, the people just skip it and I get it. You're just pressing X to get to the next screen. You're resetting. You want to score a goal. You want to get back into the game. I totally get it, man. Um, but this is going to bring in something that in online matches, the number of times a user can perform an unskippable goal celebration will be limited to once per match. So kind of like a coach's challenge in the NBA, you will have one chance here to actually say, listen, I want to sit back and watch that goal celebration. You can't skip it. It's unskippable. Sit back there and take it, right? So if Collar scores an absolute screamer, there's no skipping it, man. Once a game. Now, the problem is, is that if you score a second banger, uh, then you won't be able to watch that unless your teammate lets you. But listen, I like these updates, man. I like these things. It's Is it enough at this stage in the game? I don't think this is all that's going to come in December. I genuinely do think that they are going to kind of have more stuff here. Um, but in V3.2, I don't think we're going to see a full, full, full update. Uh, I mean, as I said, this is still V3.2, right? We don't have V4 yet or anything like that or whatever way they want to go with it, whether it goes back to, you know, V1. Um, so it's going to be very interesting to see how they actually introduce and incorporate these events in. Um, we still have to wait to get news on the AI single player stuff that we're going to be getting, the offline stuff. Um, but look, these quality of life changes and these kind of features, especially the contracts, that's a big problem for a lot of people that didn't really understand the contract situation and we're going to be left out in the cold, man. Because if you have 10 contracts and 10 of your players go out, you literally have 10 days for using those players. And if you don't get any more contracts, you're literally not going to be able to play with those players unless you get new contracts. Now, you can release players, and I have a couple of videos on how to get unlimited contracts and stuff like that, but all of that will probably just, you know, um, be superseded now by the fact that you're able to get GP. So that is it for me, lads. I will be back just keeping it short and sweet. Um, let me know your thoughts, and uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Peace.